in 1 Corinthians 2, 9, the Bible says that this is what the scripture means when they say, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. We can't even comprehend the things that God has prepared for us. It's far beyond what we can look forward to here on earth. There is no comparison. Everyone has this one thing in common that we will all die. And not everyone will experience the luxuries in this life. Most people won't. But let me tell you that you can gain this whole world. And it still will be far less than what God has for you. The Bible goes on to say that the Holy Spirit has revealed these things to those who have put their faith in Jesus Christ. And you can have hope today that the glory is greater. And you can wait until later to experience the indescribable bliss and pleasures that heaven has waiting for you. Jesus says, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come back to you and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you will also be. He talks about mansions and feasts and rewards in the presence of almighty God. Give God the glory today. And if you have not done so today, turn from your sins and repent and put your faith in Jesus Christ so that your sins will be forgiven and that you will escape hell and experience everything that God has for you in heaven. God bless you.